Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Uh, today we're going to be making the light buttons for the doors because as you can see we have the button to turn on and off the door but we also need a light button. So uh, let's start by just creating a sprite and uh, that sprite has to look exactly like the background of the door. So what we're going to do is we're going to go under the background where I have the picture of the door and then we're going to use uh, a selection tool like this magic wand you have in the game maker editing and you just mark it up like this by clicking on it and then you can copy it just using Control c and then make a sprite and i'm just going to call this sprite spr underscore door light and uh, then you can just paste this and uh, this is pretty much going to be how the door looks whenever it's turned off so uh, of course we will also need a picture when it's turned on and there is no one in the door so I'm just going to copy and paste this and then uh, I'll just for example here I'm just going to make it a bright yellow but when you make it you will probably have to figure out the image that, uh, that is going to be behind the door and then simply insert it in, in here using uh, image editing uh, software but I'm not going to focus really on the drawing I'm just going to focus on how to make the game itself so um, yeah, I'm just going to do it like this. And then we're just going to copy it, and now we have to make how it looks when all the different characters are in it. So um, for this game, I'm just going to make uh, four different characters, and uh, maybe I'll make more data on, but uh, I think it's enough with just four different characters that kind of appear at the door. So now we have three very beautiful enemies, or four, whatever. We have some uh, very beautiful enemies, and they're all inside of the sprite. So um, yeah, you, you have a sprite that looks somewhat like this. And um, now we are just going to make an object, and I'm going to call that object obj underscore door light one. And uh, this object is just like the door. It's going to have a state. And uh, this state is simply going to uh, decide what it has to draw. So we are going to say state equals zero. And zero is pretty much when it's turned off, when there's no, no light. And we are just going to remember to set the sprite, of course. And uh, then we are going to go under step event. And here we are going to say if a state, hey, wait a second. I think we should just do like this image index equals state. In that way, whenever the state is changed, it will change the image index too. And I think you guys remember for the, from the last few tutorials that the image index is pretty much the frame of the image. So this is image index zero, this is image index one, this is image index two, etc. So um, that's pretty simple. And we also have to remember to set its image speed to zero, just so that it won't animate because yeah, it shouldn't animate and it will just look very weird. And uh, now when we have done this, we also have to make the button where I can turn it on or off. So uh, I'm just going to make, I'm just going to duplicate object button one and call it obj underscore uh, light button one. And um, yeah, it still has to set the state to zero and the image speed to one. And we can still use the same code in the state event. But under the lift press event, what we're going to do is, whenever you press it right here, we are just going to say uh, obj, obj underscore door light one uh, dot state equals to state on. Because what we have to do is, we have to have two states under the uh, we have to have two different states under the door object. We have to have one when it's off and one when it's on. So I'm just going to, we're going to rename this to off. Uh, off. Oh wait a second. Yeah we should still have this one. I'm just I don't I'm just I'm being confusing. We also have to remove this. I was just I was being wrong. We have to have another state right here called state on. So um so we have to set this uh, yeah this is correct. There we go. So we're still going to do this because what state is going to be is pretty much state is going to be when it's on or off. So when it's at zero, it's going to be off, and when it's at one, 
the light's going to be on. And I'm sorry that I was confusing before. Now the rest of the tutorial is going to make a bit more sense. I was just... I didn't really think correctly. But okay, so state on, we're also going to set that to zero by default. That just means that there is no animatronic in the door currently. So um, what we're going to do under here is if state is equal to zero, then it's going to set the image index to zero. So this is pretty simple. And when the state is equal to one, then image index equals um, state on. Yeah, that's what we, we've called it. So uh, equals state one state on and we just have to say plus one because obviously we this is set to zero by default that's just easier to work with i think so um, you could also just set this to one and then two and three and four but i'm just going to set it to zero and add one because then we have to set it to minus one for it to be black because obviously we have to whenever it turn on we want it to be this picture picture one so and uh, I've set this to zero, so that we have to add one in here. So that's why I say plus one. So um, yeah, this should be the code in the door step event. So uh, now we can simply go on and add one, and then add the OBJ light, and we just have to make it above the door. And now we're gonna go in here and set the depth to like 50, just so that it is in the background. And then we can add the light button to right here. Yeah. That should be fine. There we go, and then let's just quickly try it out. And yeah, now it looks fine, I think. So now you can see you can turn on and off the light and you can open and close the door. So um, yeah, now what we just have to do is we have to make uh, sure so that the animatronics whatever can enter the door. So uh, what we're going to just quickly do is we're going to make a variable. And uh, that variable, we're going to make that in the creation code for the room. And that variable is going to be called global dot uh, animatronic blue uh, plc and it of course stands for place uh, and that should be equals to and um, let's just call it well how many cameras are we going to have it doesn't really matter you know what i'm just going to make it a string variable and then set it to door front and uh, this just means that it is in the front door and uh, we're going to say global dot any uh, animatronic uh, red place is equals to O zero, and that's going to be the first camera. But we haven't made that anywhere, so it's just going to be to be drawn nowhere. And um, now we can just quickly do the same thing with the rest of them, being the yellow one and the green one. So they should both be in O zero too. So uh, what we're just quickly going to do is we're going to go under the door object and then we're going to go under its step event and now we're going to go in here quickly and say if and I should just remember these names because I can't if this is equal to door front I think that was what I called it I'm just going to quickly check yes if it's equal to that, then it's going to set its state on to 1. And if it's equal to door front with the red one, I think, then it's going to be 2, I think. And uh, the green one, I think, it's the next one. I'm not completely sure, but it doesn't really matter that much right now. Um, so 3. And if it's the yellow one, then it's going to be 4, of course. So uh, right now, you'll see when we play the game, uh, the blue stickman should appear in the room. 
And yeah, you will notice he looks a bit different because I had to redraw him because I messed up the sprite before. So yeah, <laughs> that's how the blue stick man looks now. So let's just quickly see if it works. So let's go on the night one here and change this to 0 and this to door front. Um, so now the red man should be in the door. And I might edit these sprites for the next video just because they look kind of ugly. But we will see. Yeah, there we go. Now the red man is here. <laughs> so uh, yeah. And it works even though you close the door and you will still be there when you open and turn on the light. So it works pretty nicely. But now just need to make it for this door over here. And that's always a bit more complicated because as you rem remember that door is actually two places at once because it's both, both here and here. So it of course again has to synchronize. So we are just quickly going to duplicate and call this one obj underscore door light 2. And uh, then duplicate this one and call that one for obj underscore light button 2. And uh, that's just going to be the same stuff. It's going to set the state to zero, etc. And uh, yeah, everything just to state it's fine and all that. But you're going to change this to two, of course. And um, what we're also going to do is, whenever it does this, we're also going to set. Uh, oh wait, I'm just doing this wrong. We're just going to set J with obj underscore light button two. And you probably remember what th this does. This does so that it won't just execute this code on itself, but also on all other light uh, button two. So, because we have two light button twos in the room, they will both do this at once. So, um, yeah. And this should technically work, I think. So, let's just quickly create door light two, and that already works. Well, uh, and now we have to change this to back, because I'm calling the other door for door back. So, uh, we're just gonna change this quickly. Okay, back, back, oh I just forgot, back so that uh, if one of them are set the door back they will be drawn in this door. So in night one we're just going to place this guy in the doors and we have to place it in exactly the same place because otherwise it looks weird so I'm just going to turn this back to 10 and then place it somewhat like uh, here I think that should be fine and then place this guy here and now we of course also have to set in the buttons and I'm just going to set this uh, one, two, three, four out there we go because it's very important that it is the same place so one, two three four out so there we go now i think that this should look fine or maybe not we will just quickly take a look and see if there are any glitches we have to fix so let's turn it over here and turn it on the light works and it looks nicely so um, let's just make it that one of the animatronics is in door back and that's going to be the yellow animatronic door back there we go so now the yellow should be in the back door and the red should be in the front door so new game, yes, and yeah the red is in the front door, and the green is in the back door, and it looks fine, I mean it looks perfect pretty much. So um, yeah, I think this has to be it for this video because yeah, I think it's going to be a little long if I make anything else. So in the next video I think we are going to be finishing off the office by making the doors right here, that's going to be pretty quick. And maybe also uh, start by creating some uh, sound effects because it's important to have some sound in the back of your game, otherwise it's just going to be kind of terrible. <laughs> uh, so yeah, see you in the next video. Bye guys.